B or whatever. That means I can get virtually half the paper wrong and I get an A. But to achieve 55% requires uh, years of hard work. No, 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 I still get virtually half the paper wrong and I get an A. Yes, because the papers are designed to uh, to allow students to demonstrate their achievement. There will be students getting significantly higher than the 55% oh, sure, in the paper. And they're designed to enable the students to demonstrate their ability in mathematics. And to achieve that figure, to no. achieve an A grade in the new maths uh, A level, does require considerable achievement. And uh, the, the <laughs> regulator is confident that those grade boundaries do reflect... Uh, the achievements of those young people, and they are consistent with previous years and subject and other subjects. That's Education Minister Nick Gibbs speaking to my LBC London News colleague Nick Ferrari about those uh, A-level results. Seven teenagers have been arrested after the death of a man outside a shopping centre in Newcastle. The 52-year-old victim was stabbed with what police think was a screwdriver in Eldon Square. They're calling it a chance encounter. Jed Noble is the Chief Superintendent of Northumbria Police. I'm acutely aware that this will cause a great deal of concern both to the public and local business. We have already increased police patrols within the city and we will continue to do so to make sure that people are safe and feel safe. The United States has moved to block the release of an Iranian oil tanker seized in Gibraltar. Grace One was captured by the Royal Navy in the Mediterranean last month, suspected of breaching sanctions by carrying oil to Syria. The ship had been due to be released by decision, has been delayed. A flock of sheep has been herded along Whitehall by campaigners who say a no-deal Brexit would force half of UK farms out of business. Tick animals were led past government buildings by the People's Vote campaign group a little earlier. You're up to date from LBC London News. Good afternoon. This is Philip Chrisikos. Thank you for joining me on this Thursday. On the way, 60 seconds from now, we'll have the latest breaking developing news stories, including more on what the Liberal Democrats leader Joe Swinson thinks of Jeremy Corbyn's idea to block a no-deal Brexit by he becoming temporary Prime Minister. We'll have more on the post-mortem results of a 15-year-old girl from Streatham, found dead in Malaysia, and uh, reaction about putting knife crime stories on chicken fried boxes. That in 60 seconds, and the latest in the travel tent with Dave Goff. LBC London News. At first, we were worried about using purple bricks, but since we sold with them, I haven't been able to stop going on about them, have I, dear? No, love. I've been telling everyone, family, friends, that confused guy at the supermarket. Yeah, you haven't really shut up about that. But seriously, did I tell you about that purple brick estate agent, Michael? I met him too, he oh, was nice. Oh, you talk to him whenever. Anything we asked, he could do it. That's enough now, He dear. was brilliant, always available to chat on the phone. Enough, Robert. I could email him anytime of the day.